Good news, everyone. We're back with more Futurama. This is Season 6, Episode 25. Last time, Fry caught the common cold and everybody was freaking out about how it was going to wipe out the human race. Manhattan was almost set into the sun to prevent an outbreak. And yeah, just two more episodes left in this season, though. This one is called Overclockwise. So overclocking speeds up the performance of a computer. I assume it's going to be Bender. Clockwise either talks about turning things a certain way or moving forward in time. So let's see what this episode entails. I finally remembered to mention last week that we're two or four weeks ahead on Patreon. Leave a like and let's get started. Bucket of hot dogs. Cubert. Oh. Check. Butt massager engaged. Butt massager. Check. Then let the video games begin. World of World War Two Three. Bender's having a tough time. Again, ah, these dorkishens. Oh, shoot your weapon, private. Wait, how do I hold on? Oh, man. oh boy, <laughs> that checks out. Sorry to kill and run. You let the Nazis win. Again. This is all Bender's fault. Admit it, your reflexes suck. Oh, it's oh. true. My circuitry's 12 years out of date. Overclock, you be able to speed up your reflexes by overclocking you. What's that, Sonny? You say it'll put some whoopee in my cushion? I guess I'm just feeling uneasy about us being so on again, off again. Maybe it's none of my business, but if it were up to me, we'd be on all the time. And I mean all the time. Oh, but God. what would that be like? Look, don't you ever wonder about the future? Well, sure, but you're always in it. Also, sometimes Terminators. Oh, boy. Oh, Ruined the moment. You should run a lot faster now. Unless you die. Wait, unless you die. Now then, my man, let's see if your reflex Bouncing off the walls. He's gonna own everybody. Did it get us? Okay. He's just dodging. <laughs> uh, wow. Ah, I could have fired a V8. <laughs> oh boy. Those guys normally speak. Oh! Mom! What is it, you colicky bastards? We were playing video games and the other kids didn't play fair. What? It better not be those little Korean girls again. <laughs> Got it! Oh boy. Woo! We're the greatest! Mostly me! Bender Rodriguez? History came alive and I killed it. <laughs> if I overclock you some more, maybe we can beat those Korean girls. Oh, well, the Korean girls are real good. That nerd burglar overclocked the robot's processor. It violates the license agreement. And that means I've got him right by <sighs> his little ding dong. You're under arrest for felony violation of the Mom Corp license agreement. <laughs> what oh. are you about? Oinkic. Who called the fuzz? What? <laughs> Ooh. What a lucky break! After all these years, I've got him! And legally, too! How have you not gotten him legally before? An idiot like you is correct! What did I teach you about tinkering with machinery? How? You taught me how! <laughs> I also taught you not to get caught! In Slurm? As my newest employee, Ugh. could you bend this drinking straw for me? I really shouldn't agree to things I don't understand, but I'm slightly thirsty. Darn it. Oh, God! I clicked without reading! And I slightly <laughs> modified a thing that I own! We're monsters! This is actually rather topical. I Darn. rest until this bending unit is restored to factory specs. Why not? Yeah. When people learn they can overclock their old robots, they won't buy my new robots! This I will guess. Stand. Is your dead in a relationship in a rut? Good news, everyone! Why are you saying it? Would say if he went in jail facing a life sentence. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, wow. I can't believe how stupid I used to be and you still are. What are all these pagey things? <laughs> I guess that fixes things. I can stimulate my intellect without further thermodynamical disruption. I miss the old illiterate bender. It's like I can anticipate that the ceiling fan's going to fall and knock Zoidberg unconscious. Oh, wait. Wrong, Mr. Genius. There's another one. That's the fan. Why are there two? Hmm. Who's 
Who's up for a turkey dinner and a game of badminton? Say what? What? <laughs> oh, wow. You are ordered to report for factory reset. <laughs> Once I install these, I'll have access to the loftiest realms of thought. Anyone have access to a lofty realm of gravy? This Hubert Farnsworth. That's my name. Don't wear it out. Deliberately robbed her blind by improving his own robot? Can the defense produce the bending unit in question? Nope. We don't know where the hell he is. Your Honor, that is something we cannot a doodle do. A doodle do. If we could mount one big musical featuring everyone's talents, we might just save planet. <sighs> we'll call it Nibbler oh. on the Roof. Nibbler on the Roof. <laughs> That's fantastic. It's time for me to leave and make a fresh start. Oh. Don't call Leela, please. You and me, we were supposed to. What? I Grow know, old together? But someday we'll find out. Fry! Hey, their clones are buried under here. <laughs> oh. I don't know, Randy. Ouch. I feel like my life's Randy. falling apart. Yeah. Have you thought about asking Bender for help? What are you, Randy? A complete moron? I'd love to talk to Bender, but I have no idea where he is. Well, if so he's bloody. running on 12 processors, he must be someplace with a lot of power and liquid coolant. Oh, you're no help at all. I'm going to go kill yes, he myself. Is. Can't go over the falls without a barrel. <laughs> what? Of surviving in one of those. Slim to none. I like those odds. Did Bender anticipate his... Suicide attempts. Oh no, he just winds up where Bender is. Hello? Anybody? Hydroelectric. Bender? Are you in here? In here is the only place I'm not. What happened to you? I'll try to put it in terms you can comprehend. I passed the existential singularity. Try huh. harder. I need your help. The professor and Cubert are in trouble and Leela left me. I'm in misery. I've grown far beyond the petty concerns of your world. Human emotion no longer concerns me. <laughs> Clockwise. But, but Randy said... Randy! Have you been Randy. out with Randy? Hubert and the professor are guilty. The jury will vote to convict. I can't change that. Well, what about Leela? Is there any hope things could still work out between us? Oh. Oh. Excuse me. Oh. He didn't want to make his friend sad. Is an extra oh my god. Risky strategy. <laughs> Did you say extra crispy recipe? You know I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Did you work from Leela? I heard she took a job selling deep space real estate somewhere beyond the most distant thing ever observed with a telescope. Oh. Holy crap. Order. Order in the head. For reasons beyond even my comprehension. I have returned to testify on behalf of the defendant. But, Your Honor... Silence! One more inburst like that and I'll have this inburst removed from you. Because I'm not as smart as everybody thought. I was born in prison and I'll die in prison. You were? There is still one hope. Your co-defendants. And the jury might not want to convict a 12-year-old. Take pity on him. Do something! Oh. Uh, prosecution moves to drop the charges against Cubert Farnsworth. Oh. Oh. Very well. I move for a mistrial on grounds of double jeopardy. Cuber Farnsworth cannot be tried twice for the same crime. Oh, because he's a clone. Because he's a clone. clone. Ergo, they are legally the same person. What a brilliant legal shenanigan. Uh -huh. Just dismissed. Nice. Yes. Hang them both. Why did you come back? Honestly, I couldn't think of one good reason. But some decisions can't be made by thinking. Aww. Even if you're drunk. Yeah. Oh. Leela who? <laughs> good to see you. Leela who? Is it good to see me? Of course. Bender, while you still have your giant brain, please tell me if Fry and I ended up together. It's too late, Leela. He's good old Bender again. Good old totally Bender. Totally useless. <laughs> totally. Before they reset me, I figured out the answers to life's great questions. Oh. Uh, this is the reason we exist. This is which ceiling <laughs> fans are gonna fall. <laughs> Aha! Found it! Fry and Leela's ultimate fate. Horrified look. Oh, slap. <laughs> Keep reading.
they're gonna... Are they just gonna end the episode? <laughs> wow. That could have been a season finale ending. But it wasn't. Or series end finale ending. But it wasn't. It feels like they didn't know whether or not the show would be re uh, renewed. And this was the episode just in case it wasn't. I looked it up and yeah, they wrote this episode as a possible series finale in case the show wasn't renewed. It wouldn't have been as strong as the previous series finales, but there were definitely some sweet moments, and it was fun seeing Bender be a menace and even be a little cold and calculating before dumbing himself down so that he can once again be there for his friends. And I'll admit, the Randy joke would have been a really funny way to end the series as well, because just out of nowhere, Fry's next best friend shows up in the series finale. That would be hilarious. I actually think it would be funny as well if he was actually secretly in a bunch of episodes before and we just happened to miss him. But since this wasn't the finale, I kind of hope we see him again. Fry doesn't really have a lot of friends outside of work, and exploring that relationship would be fun. And yeah, this all started with Qbert, Fry, and Bender playing video games. Who would have thought that Bender would be that out of date? Pretty sure AI can destroy humans at most video games even now, but I guess Bender isn't programmed for that. I find it funny though, and also a little concerning, that Mom's sons were role-playing as Nazis. I mean, in retrospect, they do kind of give off that vibe, but we did also learn a while ago that Igner is Farnsworth's son, and yet we don't see him have any qualms about going after Qbert and Farnsworth in this episode. Guess they were just following orders, though. But Qbert overclocks Bender, and man, deleted 12 terabytes of outdated cash phrases. Bender looked so sad when that happened, but it was fun to see him bouncing off the walls while overclocked, and the fact that Qbert is able to do this means that I have to imagine Mom is capable of making robots this powerful as well, but just chooses not to. She There's like this planned obsolescence, because there are not a lot of robots out there capable of what Bender is doing in this episode. But yeah, Farnsworth and Qbert originally go to jail. Really funny that they were feeling guilty about clicking a user agreement without reading it, and then modifying something that they own. We're monsters! And this is actually quite topical because of the right to repair movement. A lot of companies, Apple being the very notable one, uh, try to restrict where you can go to repair your devices, either with fine print or just by making it purposefully difficult to repair. And then you're forced to take it back to the manufacturer who will then price gouge you. There are even instances where if you try fixing things yourself, the device will brick itself. And there are even instances where these kind of things happen with technology used in hospitals, so life-saving technology. It's ridiculous. Anyway, yeah, rather topical for an episode coming out 12 years ago, and we're facing the same things right now. The whole court case in this episode was interesting. Getting the prosecution to drop charges for Qbert, and because he's a clone, Farnsworth can't be tried because he can't bring the same charges against somebody twice. That's really funny. And it was fun seeing Bender be so ahead of the curve with everything, brain power so strong it predicted so many ceiling fans falling, and almost all of them fell on Zoidberg. Uh, there were other f funny jokes sprinkled in there as well, Nibbler on the roof, oh my god. And yeah, the whole thing with Leela leaving, I can understand her wanting more from life, and I also understand Fry being satisfied with where he is as well, and neither of them are necessarily wrong, but there was a part of me that wanted Fry to just leave with her, because her leaving didn't seem to be about leaving him so much as it was about leaving what seemed like a dead-end situation at Planet Express. And it sounds like she was very successful off-planet, but she gives it all up to go back to Fry. And it would kind of be a subpar ending to this series if this was the end, because like Leela was thriving elsewhere and Fry could have gone with her and been mediocre at something else over there. But instead, she comes back and now they're both stuck in this mediocre situation. So yeah, glad this isn't the end. And it was very sweet to see them both read Bender's predictions and have them go through such an array of different emotions. And I guess we'll see where their relationship goes in Season 7. This on and off thing has to get wrapped up in Season 7, right? I guess it comes down to, did they know they were going to be cancelled before the end of Season 7? And did they have time to plan for it and write a satisfying conclusion? And going off of that, if they did write a satisfying conclusion, will the show being revived again ruin it? Looking forward to finding out all of that when I eventually get around to it. It would have been nice to catch up before Season 8, but nope, didn't happen. But alright, thanks for watching, folks. We're two or four weeks ahead over on Patreon. Leave a like, and I'll see you guys next week with more. Bye, friends.